if you wanted to get um, really nuts and really make things stand out, what you could do, um, and I don't have a picture of it, but you could actually just run wire up the uh, upper behind the downspout and actually mount the light here. We have some gutter mounts um, that just kind of fit into the gutter and the light just screws into that as opposed to like a ground stake or something. Um, and then you can mount those on both sides here that kind of shine to light this uh, top archway. And that would really make this uh, a super inviting and nice spot to, uh, to kind of walk into. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you want to see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's going to look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey Chris, thanks again for taking the time uh, to send in some pictures here. Um, I'll give you some ideas to get started and then yeah, I think for sure based on uh, some of the ideas I give you if you want to take some actual pictures. Um, there's a couple things I wasn't sure about. I mean, there's definitely some lighting and stuff you could do in some of these front entryways and that. I just don't know what the reality is of getting wire there, if there's conduit, if there's electrical outlets and whatnot. Um, regardless, I'm going to pretend that we can have power everywhere and then we can uh, kind of figure things out from there. But I mean, <clears throat> just from looking at some of the pictures, my uh, general overview is I would definitely want to highlight the, uh, the entryway in the front of the house from the street. I think will really look amazing. Uh, as well as you can highlight the entryway here. Um, I think using some perimeter lighting and really focusing on lighting some of the uh, taller trees as opposed to a bunch of path lights and stuff is gonna be a really good way to get the best bang for your buck. And I think the most visual effect, because not only is it gonna light up in here, but you're also gonna see those lit up from the street view uh, in the other areas. So focusing on those things is good. Um, around the pool in the back here, um, I'm a huge fan of perimeter lighting uh, and really what that is is just, you know, it's getting lights um, and just kind of evenly uh, throughout the back of the property so that as you're looking out it's just not um, a big dark spot you can kind of <clears throat> um, just kind of highlight that area a little bit. Um, so I'll talk to you about some ideas there. Um, so for this front area here, um, kind of like I talked about um, from that top view, I mean, one thing you want to do for sure is I would definitely be highlighting these guys. I think because of their size and where they are uh, in reference to the property, be, uh, meaning it's the first thing you're going to see. <clears throat> what I would do is I would really just try and use a couple up lights. Um, and I'm going to talk to you primarily about up lights, maybe a few wash lights, because you are going to be able to do most things just by using these. Um, I would much rather see, especially on a property of that size, you using more up lights than path and garden lights because I just don't feel like these are going to give you a lot of effect when you have a you know a nice big property like that. So if we start out with uh, a couple of those guys, I would probably have two on this tree and I would kind of have them at the base kind of shining out at two angles because this is such a wide canopy and because this is such a feature spot, um, I would definitely want to do that uh, to really highlight this area. So I would just start with that and then... Uh, I just want to go back to the front here. Um, so start with those two there, I think would do a really good job. I wouldn't put any path lights or anything in here just because of the proximity uh, of the street and the sidewalk, but I think just having those accent lights there would be great. And then I would focus kind of on the front here where I would have two more of those up lights um, and I would kind of have them behind uh, these plants a little bit, almost shining through. So you kind of create some shadows on that wall, but then also highlight um, just kind of this back wall and then it helps highlight this whole entryway if you wanted to get um, really nuts and really make things stand out what you could do um, and I don't have a picture of it but you could actually just run wire up the uh, upper behind the downspout and actually mount a light here we have some gutter mounts um, that just kind of fit into the gutter and then light just screws into that as opposed to like a ground stake or something um, and then you can mount those on both sides here that kind of shine to light this uh, top archway and that would really make this uh, a super inviting and nice spot to uh, to kind of walk into and then I would probably look at if I go back here you know I'd probably try and get an up light on a tree like this and then just along the side here I think highlighting a couple of these if you have some unique um, kind of smaller palms and stuff that's where I like using some wash lights and I think it's good to use a balance of 
some wash lights and some up lights on you know for example a taller tree here maybe a couple wash lights on these guys and then up lighting a guy like this so that you have kind of different levels of light so um, that's what I would do in an area like that um, and same thing if there's stuff like that kind of on that side um, following that same theme you don't need to light every plant on the property I like just to have um, kind of even spacing so I don't have a bunch of dark spots so if I have this lit I've got a light in here and I've got a light here at least I'm not looking at you know a nicely lit front of the house and then just pitch black over here so hopefully that makes some sense um, again I don't know what uh, what ability you're going to have to get wire here. I mean, at the end of the day, you can always, um, kind of like I talked about with the downspout over there, if you have access to get wire here and have to run something along the gutter or the roof line and drop it back down in somewhere here, you can always do that. Um, but this would be another area where I'd really want to feature the palms you have on both sides of the entryway with, again, two up lights um, just to really make that area pop. And then as you're going around the side of the house from that top view, I can see there's, you know, a few trees and stuff like this. And that's where I would kind of do that perimeter lighting. And any of the larger feature trees, I would try and get an up light on those. <clears throat> so it kind of illuminates the path. You're going to get some reflective light uh, going around the side, but it's more it just draws your attention to those. So you kind of know where to where to go around the property. Um, I mean, I think it's going to be tough to get any lights in here and I think it's okay if you don't if you have this lit and you have this front lit it really draws people's attention uh, into this area anyway I mean you always could throw a couple path and garden lights here um, just to help highlight this area a little bit but again I don't know if you're gonna be able to get power there and um, I think just by lighting this and the front it you're still gonna draw people to those areas so you don't necessarily need to light you know down below here um, and then um, I, I didn't really, oh, this must be across the street, the ocean view, which, um, is gorgeous. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go back here, um, and see where that is relative. Okay. Probably over in this area. Um, if you want to send some areas of this back pool area, I mean, again, that's where, you know, uh, like I talked about highlighting, you know, probably three of these guys, this guy here, if you have some taller ones here and here. Um, would be really nice and behind this barbecue area that's okay now I know where we are um, I would definitely try and get two up lights on that and I'll show you why from the other picture and then also along like this back <coughs> hedge here I think um, having a couple of those wash lights just kind of evenly spaced maybe three or four of those out there uh, really what it does is looking out from the house now it just kind of highlights the backdrop of the pool area and then same thing over here I think if you have some of these taller um, palm trees behind getting some up lights on those and then maybe even in the front having a couple um wash lights just so you that you have some higher uh backlit stuff and then you got some nice um up lights in the front area here so uh if i go back to that barbecue area picture that's where i would yeah definitely get some up lights on this these guys here and then if you wanted to um a couple wash lights on these lower line ones and that way as you're looking uh, or working with the barbecue, you're going to get a little bit of reflective light, but it kind of makes that area <clears throat> stand out a little bit. Um, and I, I think those hedges are pretty low around the pool, and you probably don't want to steal away from your view. So I think you could probably actually leave that out. Um, <clears throat> uh, it looked like those trees were a little bit higher, but if the ocean's back there, then yeah, definitely uh, would probably just leave that out focus on the perimeters um, kind of like I talked about and if you want to send more pictures Chris uh, definitely do that hopefully that at least gives you some ideas to get started um, great property um, and uh, yeah just let me know how else I can help hey guys I just wanted to show you this real quick if you see here we got this bed area um, and this was an area that was totally isolated uh, that we couldn't get wire to really we got this nice beautiful brick walkway here but uh, we're out on Vancouver Island where it is an island and most of it's rock and we there's just no way we could tunnel underneath that sidewalk without going super deep and totally messing up the garden. So what we did is if you uh, see behind me here um, on this bush that goes up and then across the doorway here and then back down, uh, what we did is we actually used the gutter and we actually ran wire up the gutter, over the doorway and down into this bed here. Uh, and we were easily able to do that. And now we didn't have to tear up the whole garden, but we can get power here and still keep all our lights on the same transform transformer. So sometimes you gotta be a little creative with how you get wire to different areas, um, but there's always a way. 
and you'd never even know that that wire is there because where we came back down in the bed is right behind a trellis that we ended up uh, highlighting and featuring anyway that uh, you guys can't tell from the video but I can see it's starting to look really really good so I'm glad we lit that up and that wire is totally hidden so you'd have no idea how we got that wire there so sometimes you got to be a little creative you don't always have to go into the sidewalk so think of alternative ways Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video presentation with some great tips and tools on how to go and properly and effectively light up your landscape. And be sure if you want your own free consultation video, just send me an email at cal at lightingdoctor.ca with a few pictures of your property and we'll get back to you with some really cool ideas and ways to go and effectively light your property. And be sure to watch the videos after this one for more tips on how to install landscape lighting as well as how to light up your landscape the best way possible.